Hey guys, welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and also some gaming entertainment, as I would call it. Now, today we're talking about some industry news with the MetaQuest 3, as apparently the supply chain or the manufacturing is going to be cut by millions of units, which is pretty, pretty amazing, I have to admit. But we'll look into the why, we'll look into what it means, the in between the lines, and all this kind of stuff. And by the way, guys, look at this. This is the HP Reverb D2 there. This is the DPVR E4 4K, not too bad, but this one definitely beats it by a mile. And of course, we have here the Pimax Crystal. Everybody really might go to headset for Sims only, though. This one is more my go to headset for pretty much everything. I will be receiving the MetaQuest 3 on October 11, everybody. So do hit the notification bell after you subscribe as I'll be providing you my unboxing, my review, my gameplay, every single thing. Of course, comparing it to Pico 4, HP Reverb D2, DPVR E4, and also the Pimax Crystal, of course, to see whether it is really worth it to buy it as a PC VR headset, of course, using the Oculus Link, the virtual desktop, comparing it to everything and everything and everything. And thank you to Fireproof Games also, by the way, for providing me the key to Dark Matter, the room, the dark, the dark room matter, the dark matter room. Oh man, leave a comment below. Let me know how I pronounce it properly. The dark room matter, of course, I think it is. Thank you very much to Fireproof Games for the key. As this will be one of the, uh, of course, apps, VR apps on MetaQuest 3 that I will be comparing and also they gave me a PC VR key so I'll definitely be doing some gameplay with it and comparing it with the MetaQuest 3 and also the Pico 4. So guys let's move on to the actual article of today's topic which is all about the MetaQuest 3. Let's go into it. So a supply chain analyst claims that the MetaQuest 3 shipment forecast for two for, for the half of 2023 was initially over 7 million units that has been reduced to 2.5 million units. So that is a pretty substantial cut, 5 million units being cut like that, I have to say. Um, now I purchased a few different quests here in Singapore and sold, selling them on certain various different platforms. I have to say that, okay, I purchased three, I managed to sell one. And the other one is a little bit hard to sell. I have to admit that here for Singapore, wanting a MetaQuest 3, even though this platform is pretty popular, I have to admit, uh, I don't know, bytes are not there. So potentially there could be an issue. That's possible. Let's just go back to the article. Min Chiu Kuo, a prominent supply chain analyst, reports that Meta has significantly, 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 oh, mamma mia, my English, uh, significantly, significantly, excuse me, revive its sales expectations for the MetaQuest 3. Initially, the project shipment for the MetaQuest 3 is uh, in the second half of 2023 is over 7 million units, but this has been reduced to 2.5 million units, uh, with just 1 million units expected to be sold throughout 2024. Wow, so only 1 million units next year? In 12 months? Oof. That's a big change from the 60 million or so that apparently was sold before. But I have to say to you that now the 60 million units, I think personally, and do let me know in the comments if you think I'm wrong, but they don't really, they don't really audit these sales. So that means that, for example, I could be Amazon and purchase 20 million of them. But maybe there is something to say that, well, if I don't sell them, I can give them back to Meta maybe at a discount, maybe get some money back, maybe I don't get my full money back, I don't know, I don't know how it works, but I do know that that's what they do, they buy in bulk, and then you don't just have Amazon, you have Best Buy, you have all the various different things, b &H, all the various different shops all over the world that do this, so the total tally could well be in the digital, digit, uh, double digit million numbers, right, so that's the first thing. Second thing is, um, companies, what they also do is they buy their own batch to increase numbers, so Meta would actually perhaps under another company name, uh, purchase some quests too, just to bump up the numbers. So it doesn't necessarily mean that, for example, if Amazon were to buy 10 million of them, that they actually sold 10 million. So the question is, how many sales are actually from the distributors or from Meta themselves who are buying their own headsets compared to actual people who have received the actual Quest 3 at home? And the only reason why I think this is because well, there is merit to it, although of course I can't prove it. It's because every time I go into VR, there are 60 million or 200 million or 300 million people as what they're supposed to be in VR today. 
it just doesn't feel that way. It doesn't feel busy all the time. It feels maybe there's a few millions of people, but not tens or hundreds of millions of people who bought a VR headset. So that's just my take on it. I could absolutely be wrong, of course, but what do you guys think? Do leave a comment below. All right, let's go back into the article. Moreover, Core claims the overall shipment of the Quest device series is expected to drop by 50% year on year to 3.5 million units, and there's a potential for further decline in 2024. Ray-Ban stories were also addressed. According to the analyst, Meta's latest smart glasses are expected to ship approximately 1.5 million units of their entire life cycle. This is a reduction from the Ray-Ban Stories first gen expectation of 2 million. I personally don't know 2 million people who bought this thing, but of course it's only available in the US and I don't know if they work in Europe or Asia if you were to buy them in the US. The first generation Ray-Ban Stories shipped only 300,000 units and 27,000 monthly users active. It's important to know that Minchako, while often accurate, has also made some mistakes in the prediction before. Therefore, it's advisable to approach his predictions with some skepticism. However, there's only one potential factor that might significantly boost sales of MetaQuest devices, which Quo may not have taken into account. Meta is rumored to be launching the most affordable 6 VR headset in history next year, priced at just $200. So guys, there's going to be another headset next year coming out. Mm, now this is spicy, spicy news. Could this be the Quest Plus that everybody's talking about, which is basically like a Quest Go, but you know, a Quest 2 with crappier graphics and maybe still Fresno lenses, or maybe you just don't have great, maybe it's just hand tracking, maybe there are no controls. I don't know, or maybe the chipset or the RAM and all this kind of stuff is not going to be as good. This is very, very juicy news, but also, also that would make sense as to why the actual price of the headset or why the amount of shipment would not be what it is, because perhaps it's not a demand issue. Perhaps it's simply Meta actually cutting down the supply so there is more of a demand for the future headset. That is very, very possible. Of course, what do you guys think? Do leave a comment below. Or also, it could just be a marketing ploy because and I'll talk about this in just a moment, it could just be a marketing ploy for Meta to say, oh, wow, well, there's only going to be this many, um, this many, I must get one now before they reduce the supply. That's also very possible at Meta, as Meta, excuse me, have already done this in the past. They actually cut off the supply for, let's say, two, three months. They claim that it's because there's too many of them that were sold. Of course, it wasn't. We know that they have plenty available. Although during COVID, it is also possible that there was indeed a supply issue so when they did run out, well, all the factories in China, for example, were closed, so they weren't able to produce more. That did occur. That is very true. But I do remember with the Quest 1, when it did first come out, they also cut the supply. They stopped it. We were only able to get the most expensive one for two, three months. And then everyone who wanted the cheaper one, it wasn't possible until eventually they stopped the most. They, they, they reintroduced the cheaper one uh, because they realized that actually people didn't want to buy the most expensive one, uh, but it took them a few months to realize that. So it is very much possible that it is also part of the marketing tactics in order to do that. But it does also, of course, make sense that perhaps there will be another VR headset coming out as they have actually announced this about two years ago and also a year ago, saying there would actually be three different quests coming out at some point. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember this. If you do remember, do leave a comment below as well. Let me know if you remember that story. But yeah, so it does kind of make sense. So let's just finish the article. We don't have any detail what the features. Project Ventura, which is believed to be the codename for the 200 VR headset, will bring. However, at this price point, regardless of the VR's headset specifications, it stands a chance of outselling even the 20 million units of the Quest 2. Okay, so it was 20 million units, not 60 million units. Excuse me, I thought I read 60 million somewhere, but I may have been wrong. Perhaps it's a total amount of units, excuse me, including the Quest 1 and the Quest 2. That's very possible that in total it tallied perhaps at somewhere like 60 million. But again, I very much doubt that 20 million even units were sold. I'd proceed, I, I just, I'm just very skeptical about these numbers. There's no auditing going on, no one double checking all this stuff. So, you know, it's not, it's nowhere in the in the meta annuals report, by the way. So, you know, I just don't know personally. Maybe there are 20 million. Who knows? Who cares? It doesn't really matter, to be honest with you. But at the end of the day, I'm just saying that, well, when I go into VR, I don't feel like there are 20 million or 60 million or 300 million people in virtual reality. 
that's all I know. And also other reports have come out saying that most people actually bought their Quest and just put it away and don't even use it. So, I mean, that's really sad, to be honest with you, because VR has come such a long way compared to when you're using it 20 years ago. But anyway, I digress. There you go, guys. Some quick news. More videos coming this weekend. So do make sure to hit the notification bell after you subscribe, guys, and smash the like so more people get to watch this video today and we can increase and attract more members to the VR Essentials YouTube community. All right, until next time, guys, take it easy. Have a lovely Friday evening. I'll see you in another video very soon. Bye for now. Bye-bye.